world's longest yard sale kicks off on Thursday. It goes more than 600 miles from Gadsden, Alabama, north to Michigan. But there is a bump in the road, literally, we say, here on the Signal Mountain stretch of this road. News Channel 9's Alyssa Sperato found out how some road work could impact business. Alyssa. Kim Calvin TDOT plans to resurface a part of US 127 just days before the event. The project covers a five mile stretch of the highway. TDOT says they'll stop before the fun starts. Some vendors I spoke with are worried, others, not so much. If you've been to the world's longest yard sale in the past decade, you would have seen Earl Grimes at every one of them. With him, thousands of antique and rare items, some dating back to the 1800s. Well, it's a little over 100 years old, like 120 right at it. This is just a hobby for Grimes, but he says making a little extra cash doesn't hurt. He has high hopes for business this year, but he's now skeptical after hearing about the road work. I'm hoping it's going to be great, but you can't never tell. And not only that, but the road, the road work now could slow a little of it down because it, it might keep all the locals away. The event starts this Thursday. He says she was shocked to hear the news, especially with TDOT's plan to start working on the road just three days before. The city of Chattanooga knew this was going on. They knew it was going on. And it seems like they know how, you know, the traffic's going to be running slow and piled up. It seems like it's going to get them just as much as a headache as it will us before it's up. But not all vendors think alike. Gene Lowe depends on events like these and the internet selling antique items to make a living. But he's not thinking twice about the road work. As long as they've shut down the machines, you know, the lanes will be open. They'll just slow down a little bit. And it's, there's no traffic speeding along here during the yard sale anyway. It's bumper to bumper all all week. Even with the threat of delays on the roadways, he still thinks this year will be a good one. This is Christmas and Easter and Valentine's for people that like this kind of stuff all rolled into one. I mean, they're, they're coming. They come from Texas and Florida and New England. I mean, they come from everywhere. TDOT says the company isn't allowed to work at any time during the yard sale. That work is expected to be complete by the beginning of September. Kim, back to you. Alyssa, thank you so much. Well,